Hello traders and welcome back to the channel. Five golden rules you need to follow before place a trade. To enter the trade successfully, there are so many things you have to keep in mind, such as candlestick and chart pattern, support and resistance levels, dynamic moving averages, reversal pattern and formations, candlestick map blending, indicators and time frame, trend line and channels, and finally wedges and triangle and so much more these are a part of price action to analyze a stock you want to enter to make a successful trade i know it is very hard and confusing what to do and where to start in this video i am going to show you clearly what to do and step by step put you in the right direction and show you the only five golden rules you need to follow for a successful trade and ignore the rest Rule number one, stock market direction. Before you attempt to invest in any stock, it is important to find out the direction of the overall stock market using Russell 3000 index. The Russell 3000 index tracks the performance of the largest 3000 US companies, which collectively account roughly 97% of all investable US incorporated equities market. The S&P 500 index features 500 leading U.S. publicly traded companies with a primary emphasis on market capitalization. If the trend in Russell 3000 with 3000 companies or S&P 500 with 500 companies are bullish, then we can conclude that the overall stock market is bullish and you can pick a stock that is bullish to enter the trade and minimize your risk. If the overall market is in recession or bearish, it is wisely to hold on to your cash. This is the price trend, Russell 3000, W1 time frame, Yo Finance. I installed here a simple moving average with 50 days period. And you see in this section, Russell 3000 performing bearish and the trend is going downward and here the Russell 3000 performing bullish and the trend going upward so it means 3000 companies collectively they're all making money this is s p 500 w1 time frame yo finance and also this is simple moving average with 50 days period now in this price trend you see in this part the price is going downward and it's below the simple moving average so it performed bearish and in this part you see the price performing bullish which is above the simple moving average so we can conclude that if Russell 3000 with 3000 companies and S&P 500 with 500 companies performing bullish here then you can pick any stock that is going upward to enter the trade. Rule number two, when the overall trend is bullish and the price is above SMA 50 or SMA 100 or 200, it doesn't mean the price structure is in uptrend all the time. The price structure could be in one of the following form. Downtrend, if the overall price in longer time frame is in uptrend, why you want to enter the trade that is going downward and trade against the trend? So it is wrong to enter the trade while the price is going downward. So we eliminate this option. Choppy market. Choppy market is a price trend without any clear direction. Since 80% of the time the market is in choppy fashion, so it is strongly recommended to stay out of the trade and hold on to your cash. So we eliminate this option. Range band. While almost all the markets are performing in uptrend, why choose range market since trading in range band need a great deal of expertise so we recommend to stay out and we eliminate this option as well and finally uptrend since almost all the important stocks are in uptrend we want to focus on picking stocks that the price is going upward so we choose this option and cross out the rest. Let's have some examples. This is the price trend BLD 
stock and W1 time frame, weekly time frame, each candle represent one week of trading. And also I installed uh, SMA 50 with 50 days period. And you see the overall trend is bullish and the price is going upward all the time, which is above the SMA 50. And in this portion, the price is going below the SMA 50 and going downward or bearish. Now I'm going to go to one step lower time frame D1 daily time frame to show you where the trend is upward downward range or choppy fashion although the overall trend showing bullish and choose the one where the trend is going upward to enter the trade. This is the same BLD stock instead of W1 time frame, it's D1 time frame. And here you see that the trend is going upward. And whereas here you see the trend is going downward. And also this is clearly going strongly upward and this is strongly downward. Although the, uh, the overall trend is all in uptrend. And you see this is a range and some places there are in choppy fashion, which I'm going to show you in the next slide, where is clearly going upward, downward, range or choppy fashion and where you can enter the trade. This is the same BLD stock T1 time frame, and the trend is, is going strongly upward as you see the SMA 50 and the price is above the SMA 50 and SMA 50 is heading upward. That is a good indication that this is a very strong uptrend. So this kind of trend that you have to pick in order to enter the trade. This is the same BLD stock and D1 time frame. You see the trend here is strongly going downward. And the same thing here, the trend is going strongly downward. So, but the overall trend, the overall trend in W1 time frame all of them they are in uptrend so we never pick this situation in order to enter the trade the only thing is we have to pick the one that is in uptrend and enter the trade like for example this one or this one this is again bld stock and d1 time frame yo finance and these are support and resistance level now the price is ranging between these two levels, between support and resistance level, and you see the moving average is flat. Basically, when the overall trend is going upward, and why we choose range in order to enter the trade. So we have to choose the, the trend that is going upward. Now, again, in this, this is again, there is two part that the price is in choppy fashion. So you see, they are in consolidation and range and, and build up in both sides. So the price basically fluctuate in a very small range. So this is the, the, the best situation that you stay out because that's not worth it to enter the trade. You don't get anything out of it. So the best one is to choose the uptrend. I'm going to, in the next slide, I'm going to show you how you enter the trade and where you put your stop loss. Rule number three, now that you find a strong uptrend, you have to look for an area with potential buying pressure or area of value like support and resistance. Area of value can be identified by simply drawing your support and resistance level or other market structure where the potential buying pressure could step in. This is the price trend BLD stock and D1 time frame, and also these are support and resistant level. When you find an uptrend, it doesn't mean you have to jump into the trade and buy share right away. You never know, maybe the trend could be an uptrend like this, and but near reversal. So you cannot enter the trade around here. So so area of value like support and resistance here or moving average that respect that respect the price trend around here you see that it respect the price trend where buy pressure could step in and can help you to spot the correct location to enter the trade 
So in the next slide, I'm going to show you where you enter the trade and where you put your stop loss. Rule number four and rule number five, entry trigger and put proper stop loss. This is the price trend, BLD stock, D1 time frame, your finance. And then these are the support and resistant area. So far, we have identified the overall market structure direction in, in W1 time frame. Then we locate the price that are in uptrend in D1 time frame. This is the part of the price trend that is in D1 time frame and it's in uptrend. We draw our support and resistant area and dynamic moving average as market structure and area of value for this particular stock. Now that we have all these informations, we only need to entry trigger and enter the trade and put our stop loss properly and ignore the rest. In this example, the price is rejected by the support and also moving average. It shows a bullish pressure is stepping in and want to put push the price higher and finally the price break out the resistant so we can enter the trade as soon as the next candle passes the close price of this candle which is this bullish candle it open here and passes the close price as soon as it passes the close price we can enter the trade here and put our stop loss below the support area one or two ATR below the support or we can also use candlestick math blending uh, between these 13 candles. So this bearish candle and this bullish candle between these two, these two candles, there are 13 candles. We can blend it and the outcome is nothing but this big bullish hammer. So we can take the open of the first candle. We can take the close of the last candle. Then we take the high and a low of the pattern. So you get this big bullish hammer and that indicates that between these three 13 candles, the buyers are willing to push the price higher. So in this short video, I show you how you find the right stock and procedures to follow to enter the trade and put your stop loss properly and protect your asset from sudden market reversal. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the subscriber button and I wish you all a successful trade. That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.